Yo, what is going on guys? It is Nate here, and I'm feeling pretty awful right now. For two reasons. One, I haven't posted in a while, and I don't like not posting. I like posting at least a little bit regularly. Not every single day, obviously, but at least, you know, three times a week. Uh, that's what I like to do. But I haven't posted in over a week, I think. And the last one I posted was like a Battlefield Hardline video, which of course didn't do as well as my Call of Duty videos, because most of you were Call of Duty people. You came from me, uh, to my channel from a Call of Duty channel. Um, but, yeah, so I've changed my mind a little bit on the Hardline beta, which was, you know, the last video I posted. And I'm starting to like it more and more. I still do like, you know, the open combat, the vehicles a lot more. But the more I played with it, um, that's what she said, the more I liked it. And pretty much that's that. You know, I'm not really going to talk more about Battlefield until I post a Battlefield video. But the other reason I feel bad is because I've been working a crap ton and I've had a cold for the past four or five days. It's been hard to breathe and I've been blowing like 10 pounds of snot out of my nose. And to make it worse, I work at a movie theater, have to clean up after the movies, and Fifty Shades of Grey just came out. So I've been dealing with a lot of weirdos that are like 45 years old and overweight and they smell re really bad because they put on too much perfume trying to impress people I guess I don't know but the audience that goes to Fifty Shades of Grey is just completely weird if I were you I'd see that Kingsman movie that came out that looks much more interesting but that's just my opinion um, anyway what I really wanted to talk about is what do you guys think about patches and video games this isn't just about Call of Duty this is about most video games, and do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? And what I mean by that is, you know, of course patches are good things. They fix a lot of the, the bugs, the glitches, uh, the balancing. You know, if you take a look at Call of Duty, imagine if that game was never patched once, ever. Any Call of Duty, you would have so many map glitches. Uh, people would just be flying around, um, you know, with the, secu the security. Uh, it would pretty much look like World at War. And World at War, you have people flying around, they're invincible, you have the MP40 one-shot headshot submachine gun, and there's that, and that's what every single Call of Duty would be, if not worse. Uh, the connection would be worse, the matchmaking would be worse, because they make improvements on that every single patch. So, of course, it's a good thing, but the thing I'm really talking about is when the game first comes out. Because, in my opinion, it feels like the developers don't even really care about putting out a good product anymore. There's not many games, especially recently. Uh, you know, back in the day, you have you take a look and uh, you take a look at games like Mario. You know, Mario for the NES or something, and that game came out. If it was broken, uh, you really had to just I don't know re redesign the game and give people refunds, and sell the game again. You know, you'd be completely screwed if there was like a, a game breaking glitch and your game didn't work so they had to put extra time and effort into their games and so when the game came out it worked properly because they didn't have any patches back then there's no internet to your console and you could download a patch and fix your game and then that all of a sudden changed a couple of years back i don't know about the pc I, I don't play pc or anything like that but for at least the consoles uh... they started patching games they you know reduced damage of this weapon um, you know they fixed the map in this area so you won't fall through it uh, they improve like your mini map or something like that and they just did all these small little things that weren't there from the beginning and that's obviously as I said it was a good thing but I feel like as of recently the games that have been coming out on release day they've been getting worse and worse and I mean just take the, the look at the games that have come out um, I'll, I'll take Battlefield 4 and Assassin's Creed as the examples uh, because Call of Duty has been pretty good on launch um, you know their game definitely works when you buy it at least for me every single launch night I am able to play the game um, you know sometimes you might have a hard time finding a match because their servers are being overloaded or something like that um, but pretty much every time I play Call of Duty I'm able to play, the connection is as solid as it's going to get, um, it, it's never going to be perfect, and you know, that's that. The only thing that they change is, you know, some security features, um, some weapon balances I've been saying, but you have games like Battlefield 4, which were pretty much unplayable, the connection was just god awful, it felt like you are on like 500 milliseconds of ping. Assassin's Creed, you have, you know, the frame rate issues and the face disappearing issues and 300,000 glitches and the games just don't seem to be finished when they're coming out even though they have a long development cycle and I know I understand games are much more complicated than they were you know Mario on the NES uh, someone could make that real quick nowadays and it would be fine 
because games have to have that online capability, the, in, the intense graphics, and uh, the games just have to have a ton, a ton of customization and stuff like that. So I understand games are much, much harder to make nowadays, but I still don't think that's an excuse. You know, developers have tons and tons of money. They have lots of man hours. And I think for the most part, glitches are hurting games from the beginning. Now, if you take a look at something like Black Ops 2 from the beginning to the end of its life, uh, obviously the end, uh, the game was much more stable and better than the beginning. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is patches just ruin the game when the game first comes out. And that's why I haven't been pre-ordering. Pre-ordering is you're giving your money away for something that you don't even know that works. And I've done that for a lot of games. I bought the season pass before the games came out. And then I end up hating the game as my voice cracks. I also hate my voice. And, for instance, I bought the Watch Dogs DLC and the Titanfall DLC before the games even came out. Now, I loved both those games and I played them to death. Uh, I think I'm like 10th gen in Titanfall. I beat the campaign for Watch Dogs in a day. But I haven't touched Watch Dogs since then. I sold it, you know, like two days later. I didn't even play the DLC. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, Titanfall DLC, I enjoyed the game, played the crap out of it. And I do have the DLC downloaded on my Xbox. I played it one or two times, but not, I don't know if it was worth the amount of money I paid for it, um, especially before launch. So basically the moral of the story is I would just love for developers to come out with a game that doesn't need patch. It's just, you know, it's good at, at the launch, you know, something that just works. Could you imagine if, you know, another product like your car needed patches um, because it didn't work? Like, you, you go home, and let's just say your, your car is in your driveway, you try to turn it on, and your engine doesn't work, or, you know, something like that. Your brakes just give out, or they weren't even there. You have to buy it with DLC or something. <laughs> That's something that EA would do. They'd sell you a car without brakes and expect you to pay for the brakes as well. Um, but yeah, I just think that it's, it's kind of inexcusable for a video game. Just because the technology's there doesn't mean that you could be more lazy than you were in the past. But anyway, that's just my opinion, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Sorry I haven't been posting in a while, but I do have two or three days off in a row, so I should be back to posting. Um, I haven't played Call of Duty in forever. I'm about to sit down and play some Call of Duty. I don't have a lot of gameplay stocked up. I finally reached rank 100 in Battlefield 4, and... I've, I've just playing, been playing the crap out of that. Kind of, kind of burnt myself out, so I'm going to go back to Call of Duty. And I don't know. I think I want to play some Black Ops 2, but I'd have to get out my 360 and set that all up. That's going to take forever, so I'm probably going to just play some Advanced Warfare, even though I suck at it. I was watching some Black Ops 2 videos, and that game just uh, reminds me of the good old days when it used to be amazingly fun, and then Ghost just killed it. And Advanced Warfare is definitely better than Ghost, but it just hasn't done it for me, like Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I love each and every one of you on this Valentine's Day, although when this goes up, it'll be the day after. But thank you so much for stopping by again. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, then make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!